In this video, we'll see how we can use partial submissions uh, with your form. For example, you want to know even when people don't completely fill the form. For example, this is very valid in larger forms uh, for marketing materials or when you're running ads on a form and, and you want to get even the slightest information that the user has filled in as it can be valuable. And that's where partial submission comes in. It's a premium feature, but again, it's very useful for people who need it. Uh, so how do you activate it? So it's pretty simple. Uh, you come to your form builder. Uh, once your form is ready, you go to advanced tab. In the advanced tab, there's an option called as partial submission. It's turned off by default and you can turn that on. Once you turn it on, you hit save. And now anyone who's trying to make a submission on your form, for example, if I'm trying to make a submission, right? And I just uh, put something like this and I just drop off. Then what happens now is when you go to your results, uh, under your filter, you have another uh, option available to you. If you don't enable partial submission, this option is not visible for you. But once you enable it, you can click on partial submissions. And this is where you will be able to see all the partial submissions. Uh, but you would say, why do I not see anything? Uh, because many times you would use partial submission along with another feature called as uh, resume submission because you might want people the capability to come back and maybe complete the form so we do not show you the results immediately uh, the time is two hours for now so if two hours have elapsed and the form is not completed yet uh, you will start seeing your partial submissions on this list i hope you found this video helpful uh, please let me know if you have any questions in the comments below thank you so much